we've been really uncomfortable using the term manufacturing execution systems to describe what we do at Orphantize. It was a term that was widely used when we started making products to help ma people manage their orders all the way from quoting to shipment. Execution systems helps describe what ma what happens on the shop floor when you're trying to track an, an order or a part all the way through the system or see what machines are available, schedule parts, um, see what materials are available, human resources are available. All that was described by what manufacturing execution system stands for, what people understand uh, under the term when it's mentioned. But Authentize is much more than that. Authentize also allows the customers to log in and uh, manage their orders, see the quotes. Uh, that also allows suppliers to log in, uh, interact with, uh, with you in the system. It also allows Authentize to manage the pre-production process for you so that the engineering steps required to get an order into uh, onto the shop floor are actually there um, in, in your system as well and are well tracked. Authentize is a lot more than, than just an MES system. The term MES hasn't really fared very well over the last couple of years, especially uh, not as people realize that really what is currently available on the market as a manufacturing execution system is either this um, glorified Excel sheet, and a very manual um, but flexible tool to allow operators to log in and update what they've done to the order. And on the other side, there's these monolithic massive systems provided by Siemens and Co. that allow you to track high volume production going through your shop floor. Um, essentially, I call them traffic light systems, allowing you to see whether the production volumes are to spec and the quality is to spec. You've got um, those kinds of systems that are digital, but completely inflexible. You need thousands of dollars just to change what product you're making on the system. In that dynamic, oftentimes doesn't really fit. We're trying to provide a system here that uses data to automate actions, so it gives you that scalability that the large system that the systems have, but also is as flexible as the, the manual systems. So you can track lot size one with ease on the system. That's what's needed in the additive industry. And 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 more than that, you know, the the tools that we've built are built on this framework that allow third parties to integrate really easily. The 3DX platform that we've built has multiple parties competing against each other to provide the underlying functionality that you might need, like mesh sheeting, nesting, orientation support, even simulation. These tools are always changing and they will change for a very long time. The market is still maturing. There's a lot of more action in it. We realize that the, the CAD systems that you're used to using are currently being broken up into their underlying functionality and made available to you via API. But you don't necessarily want to interact with an API. You want to interact with a platform that manages your product from beginning to end. And, and in that platform, you want to have integrated the latest and greatest algorithms available on the market today. So that's what we've built. Um, and and so the MES term didn't really fit. We started experimenting a bit with manufacturing operations management because that really fit the scope of what we're doing a lot better. But it's a confusing term and, and nobody's really settled on what that that means either. We thought about inventing a completely new term, maybe POP, pr uh, production operations platform. Um, got the operations part in there maybe production maybe product at the front <laughs> um i like the term platform because you're we are bringing a lot of different tools together on our on our platform but again that would confuse people even more so we've just we just figured you know what we're going to describe ourselves with a term that people know but indicate that there's so much more to oftentimes than just that so eames um was our first first idea extended mes but in the end, we settled for AIMS because AIMS, NASA AIMS, is also where Orphantize was born. And A for advanced indicates that there is more to Orphantize than just a platform to manage your operations. So much more.